I, I said that funny. Mm, mm. I can speak words. Good news, internet. I need a new pair of snow pants and I am taking you along while I pick out a new pair. So did I buy just one pair of snow pants like a well-adjusted adult? No, <laughs> of course not. Would it even be a gear lady video if I'm talking about just one of something? No, no, it wouldn't. I definitely bought three pairs of snow pants and I'm taking you along with me as I choose which pair is going to be the best fit for me. By the way, this video is not sponsored and I did purchase all of these snow pants with my own money. So this is a very honest review. The first pair of pants, this pair that I've nicknamed Black Beauty, Women's Arctic Sarah Fleece Lined Soft Shell Pants. I went with size medium, black. The price on these is $59.99. So this is actually a very budget friendly option. It actually is very great quality, especially for the price, but I did notice that there were a few stitches that looked a little bit questionable. They are fleece lined and they definitely feel very warm, very cozy on the inside and comfortable on the outside. The front closure is actually a zipper and then these little slider buttons. It's not my favorite. Plus you kind of have to like <laughs> suck it in to get them done up sometimes. Just no, just please no. <laughs> There's no adjustable waistband, which is not my fave. This is an especially important feature if you're going to be snowboarding in different types of conditions because sometimes you'll have more layers underneath and sometimes you'll have less. So you gotta have an adjustable waistband to make up the difference, you know? <laughs> There's actually quite a few features on these pants that I was pleasantly surprised about. Back zippered pockets. The front pockets are nice and deep, which I really appreciate when they just have those like tiny little pockets you can barely stick your hands in. Just not useful for anyone if you actually needed to like, I don't know, use the pockets? You could. I know, crazy concept. Then the website did say that there's wind resistant protection and water resistant protection, although it does not say to what level. So we're just in the dark together. Not literally, of course, thank heavens. These pants do have boot gaiters, but they don't have a hook and the hook helps hold the boot gaiter onto your boots and keep that down so there's not a hook but there are boot gaiters and some pants don't have those so that is a great feature and then the last feature that was missing on this pair of pants was just some leg vents if you don't have leg vents it just makes it a lot harder to wear those same pair of pants when it's warmer you almost need like separate pairs of pants when it's a little bit warmer but who's got the money to be buying multiple pairs of snowboarding pants typically not me but then now here i am so what do I know? $60 for a pair of snowboarding pants is really quite great. Quite great. <laughs> Let's just use some different terms there. I'm struggling. Definitely set a high standard for the others. Which one was next? These old things. I named White Out Women's Boulder Gear Skinny Flare Pants. I went with the color white. Somehow I ended up with a size 14. So these are a little bit large on me, but I reviewed it as if I had gotten a medium, which is my typical size. They were $125. I found them on a great sale for $99. So a little bit of bargain shopping can go a long way, you know? They have a liner inside and seem to be great. It's cozy on the inside, comfortable on the outside. It does have an adjustable waist strap. Ooh, ooh. button and velcro front closure which i appreciate and it comes in black and white the cargo pockets on the side are not my favorite look they add quite a bit of bulkiness to the leg and to me they're just kind of unusable because if you were to put anything in there it would just be so noticeable the front pockets are fake and i don't even use my front pockets on my snowboard pants very often but i just didn't appreciate the fact that they took the choice away from me leg vents ooh, ooh. Velcro back pockets. It does have the little flap to protect it as well. It does have the boot gaiters with the boot hook. And a great pair of pants. It's not way too expensive, but it's not the cheapest pair. It just kind of is. All right, so we are to our third and final pair of snow pants. Whew, about now I'm regretting purchasing three pairs. Why didn't I just go with one? Before we dive into the last pair of pants, if this video has been helpful at all, if you wouldn't mind hitting that like button down below, it helps me so much. And go ahead and hit subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to hear from you in the comments which of these have been your favorite snow pants. The last pair of snow pants I've nicknamed Pink Party. <laughs> Just seems appropriate, right? <laughs> these are the Burton Avalon Bib Snow Pants. Now, to be perfectly honest, when I was purchasing my snow pants initially, 
I very intentionally stayed far, far away from the bib snow pants because that's what I wore as a child. And so I just felt like if I'm wearing bib snow pants on the mountain, everyone is gonna look at me and know that I'm a total newbie. After snowboarding for four years now, the bib snow pants are great. There's a reason that our parents put us in them when we were younger. They're awesome and so convenient. They come in seven different colors. Is it just me? Or is this color perfection? The color is bright pink. The price. So am I embarrassed about the fact that I spent $219 on this pair of snowboard pants? Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> so diving into these, these are super high quality. All the stitching and design, just top notch stuff here. Not only is it warm as it is, the bib is also going to help with keeping the snow out of your pants and therefore keeping you warm. Definitely highly, highly comfortable. Why does wearing overalls always make me feel like a farmer? <laughs> Ding, 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 ding. It's possible I've just been wearing these for too long, but I almost wish I had some normal pants that came in this color. So many good features on these snow pants and the storage is also top notch. Do you see how deep these pockets are? Bing. We've got zippered pockets. We've got Velcro pockets. I don't care if it's lip gloss or car keys or a snack. You just never want to put something in your pocket and then later go to get it and it's gone. Did any of you see the Polar Express? Look how traumatizing it was when he went to grab his bell and it was no longer in his pocket. I don't want that for any of you. It's got the leg vents. Got it. <laughs> On the website, it did say breathable, waterproof, and quick drying material. They did not give any specifics, but it said the words. So that has to mean something, right? It has a boot gaiter with the hook. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And honestly, the snack possibilities with these pants are endless. So many places to put them. For sure, if I had these pants, I would be one happy snowboarder. Let's be honest. These are over $200 pair of snow pants, which is not realistic for a lot of people. Honestly, it has not been realistic for me for quite some time. I do want to recognize and acknowledge that these are highly expensive and therefore are not going to be a good fit for everyone. I did dock some points here for price. Definitely take that into consideration according to your budget. So after trying on the three pairs of snow pants, the pair that I was most excited about that I wanted to actually take out and test on the slopes was, ta-da! <laughs> That was maybe too dramatic. <laughs> Ended up taking these Burton snow bibs, the pink party pants. Here's what I have to say after snowboarding with them. It's been about like five times now. So really put these to good use. First of all, they are so comfortable. They're warm, but not too warm. The functionality is great. The only thing that I don't love about these snow pants, and it's not specific, to these snow pants, but it is specific to the bib snow pants, is using the restroom as a female with bib snow pants could be the worst thing of all time. The first time that I went to wear them, I had put my snow pants on and then put my hoodie on over top of it and then had my coat, okay? So in order to use the restroom, I had to remove my coat and then also remove my hoodie and then undo my snow pants. And let's just say, whew, it was touch and go. <laughs> That's the only drawback that I would say with these snow pants. But like I said, this is specific to bib snow pants in general. Now, do I still wear them every single time I go snowboarding? Yes, because all of the great features and functionality and comfort that come with these pants far outweigh having to pee with them. I've learned to do all of my layering and put my snow pants on last and just have my coat to remove if I have to use the restroom. And at the end of the day, you get to do this. <laughs> I wanna know the type of snow pants that you use and do you like them or do you just suffer through them? <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I picked out a couple other videos you might like and I'll see you soon in my next video.